Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. I'm Gordon with This Is How I Did It. Um, people ask me to make a diagram of how I did our solar system. Um, so I've been trying to just put it on paper the best way to describe how we did it. So here's what I came up with. I'm going to minimize me down here. Okay, so we have 32 panels on our on our roof up there. Okay, they're all 550 volts. And, I'm sorry, 550 watts, 48 volt panels, and we series them with four panels together in series here, as you can see. So this is one set. So we have eight panels that go into one combiner box. Okay, and we repeated this process four times. Okay, so we come in to the panel, we jumper, run a jumper over to this one jumper in between those that is series so you're basically seriesing those four together right then we did the same thing down here we series another four together ran our lines the PV wires up to the one combiner box okay so we have two inputs two panel sets going into this PV combiner box okay we came out of the combiner box came down to the um, garage and we put in um, PV shutoffs, the red shutoffs. I'll show you a picture of this here in a minute. The PV shutoffs, okay, so there's four of those. So there's four combiner boxes, there's four sets of panels of eight each, four combiner boxes which are which are combining the um, the eight panels. So there's four in series and then you put the, the two the two sets into the combiner box and it parallels those together to keep your um, your wattages where you need them for the com for the charge controller and also for the voltage for the charge controller okay so then we get into the charge controllers we have four of those our charge controllers are max 250 volts and 5200 watts so with the way I wired these panels in the combiner boxes, I can see it written down down here, is we have about 4,500 watts input at the peak of the sunny day and about 200 volts. So we have some leeway so those combiner boxes don't get so hot when they're actually restricting the power when the, when the um, batteries are actually full. Okay, so that's, that's, the, that's, that's what a combiner box or a charge controller does. The charge controller limits the amount of power that they let go through to the batteries once the batteries are charged it limits that it restricts it and then that's that's what they do okay then so when they're restricting power they will get warm um, so out of the combine out of the charge controllers we go to a bus bar on the bus bar we actually have two bus bars two sets there's a bus bar on the wall that everything's tied to and then they also have a bus bars on the batteries so the batteries are tied on a bus bar on the battery rack which I didn't show there because I don't really need to all the batteries tie into those bus bars and then there's um, two aught wire that goes up to um, the 400 amp breaker so all the combine all the charge controllers tie into the two bus bars all the hots on one all the colds on the other obviously and then out of the bus bar I have um, a two aught um, cables that go up and feed the inverter and in that there's a 400 amp breaker um, and then also between the batteries and the bus bar there's a 400 amp breaker to limit that and of course each battery has shutoffs um, so once you get through the the breaker you're into the inverter the hot side and the cold side DC inputs of the inverter and then you come out of the inverter with 240 volts so 110 110 or 120 120 and then the neutral that the inverter creates, you don't bring a neutral from the from your PG or your commercial power. So it comes out and goes and goes into my sub panel, and that's it. It's it really is seems like a lot of wire, a lot of shit there. I'm sorry, <laughs> a lot of stuff there. But one piece at a time, you build it one piece at a time, and it's not that tough. So that's my diagram. Just remember that from this side, there's four sets of this. So this is this here that you're, I'm showing you here. That's one set, one combiner box. There's four combiner boxes, and a total of 32 panels divided by four gives us four sets. Okay. So anyway, guys, that's it. I will now jump in and show you the actual picture of or some video of the actual room, so you kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about there. Thanks.
All right, so from, from the roof, all our cables come down. These are the PV cables that come down to the combiner, or um, from the combiner boxes to the charge controllers. Um, so the, the negative side for each one, each combiner box, come out of the combiner box with one set of PV cables. The negative goes directly into the charge controllers. The hot side goes into these so I can shut them off, okay? So right now, number one has eight panels on it. It's like nine o'clock in the morning and it's producing 2300 watts DC power, okay? And scroll through. So says the batteries are at 53 volts. Shows the charge, uh, the solar panels charging the batteries. Batteries are then powering the, the load. So it says this machine is producing 41 amps, DC amps right now. It's not warm yet, but during the heat of the day, this will start re reducing the power. It, it lets go through to the to the battery. So the batteries are probably about a, a quarter charged, maybe half charged right now. So it's basically producing all the power out these main big cables up to the bus bar up here that then feeds to that breaker and goes into the bus bar on the battery bank charging the batteries okay so this one like I said is producing 41 amps 41 amps DC power and right now we're at 2300 watts okay number two is this one it's producing also 2336 about the same so it's it should also be producing it should also be producing about 41 amps. So right now that's 82 amps going into these, charging these, um, these DC batteries.